are you a little worried about having i mean i'm sure you and the team will manage it but i mean i know the team knows the value of athens twilight too doing redlands which is a stage race you've got oakland mm-hmm. you've got all these other events then you've got team camp which sometimes team camp is meant to show everybody that i've got legs or everybody knows yeah. peck or we're just chilling we're just chilling at camp <laughs> Yeah, it's fine. I mean, Twilight, you know, it's a really easy race to read, to be honest. I mean, you can kind of tell when it's going to be a sprint, and you can kind of tell based on the people in the race if it's going to be a breakaway. So, I mean, it's whether or not you have six guys or you have three guys, it's not a huge difference in the end. Sometimes it kind of makes it easier when there's less of you. So, and in camp for us this year is just kind of about getting all the new equipment, getting the gear. Um, Redlands is our first race, so it's going to be actually very nice to have, you know, four or five days of solid racing before Twilight. Um, right. It's everything's a little later this year. It's kind of weird. Everything's a little later. Like even uh, Sunny King is May sixth now, which is after Speed Week. Typically, it's before. Uh, there was Birmingham last year, which is before. There's a few races that are that were great to build. Even uh, Twilight was the last race of Speed Week last year. Yeah. So I you know, kind of used the entire week of Speed Week to get ready for Twilight. And so now it's in the beginning and you just kind of have to flip the rules a little bit. When I'm starting to do call-ups and you have all these family and friends as a former national champion, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> does it still kind of give you a little bit of like, like goosebumps or is it? Oh huh, yeah. hundred percent. hundred percent. I mean, I have goosebumps thinking about it now and I get, I get goosebumps thinking about it training every day in Athens. You know, that's, it's the one race that, you know, I say fuck twilight, but it's, one of the very no, few no, races. No. That, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It's one of the very few races that kind of keeps me going in the sport. You know, it's oh. it's an amazing race. The atmosphere is awesome, and it's what bike racing here in America should be everywhere. You know, it's I, th- I just think it's awesome. Um, I don't get excited about even when I raced a little bit in Europe. I didn't get excited about any race in Europe like that. You know, it's just it's not the same. Like home is here in america and you have your friends and family there and they they get to see what you do which is it's really neat it's a cool part of it because there's an old lore and i remember this 19 years ago that all the all the savvy experienced older guys are looking over and looking at the heart rates of all the young bucks and they're already pegged at like 150 <laughs> 155. Now that's, that's real uh, is it really? probably still i'm hanging pretty low for the most part but yeah i remember a couple years ago i looked over and i don't know who was beside me but I looked at their computer and their heart rate was like 130, 140 already. You already knew it. <laughs> and it was just like, 